Hey guys, Sharky here. Today I'm going to return to my roots of Nerf gun content with my review of the Nerf N-Strike Mega Megalodon. Named after a prehistoric shark that was as long as two school buses parked end to end and can fit an entire car park in its mouth. And the best part is that it's also carnivorous meaning that it has sharp teeth that it used to eat whales. Basically, the Megalodon was the water's T-Rex, and if I was alive back then, I would not go for a swim if I knew they were near. Anyway, back to the gun, you can see the Nerf logo here, as well as the N-Strike Mega logo, and as referred to earlier, it's called the Megalodon, which is a great name for this Nerf gun, as it can hold, hold and shoot 20 Nerf bullets, as shown here. And there's also a shot of a teenager holding the Nerf blaster in his hands. There's also this reminder to use only official Nerf darts, which no one's going to abide with, and why would they? Nerf bullets aren't exactly, exactly that accurate besides accurate strike bullets. Anyway, on the back there's once again that reminder along with the showcase of all the features it has like its priming handle, its single fire or slam fire, yes that's right you can blow through all 20 bullets super fast and that's how I'd recommend you shoot this nerf blaster if you're going for intimidation. Though you can also hold the grip and that with that grave piece and try to aim through the iron sights which actually works pretty well surprisingly. There's also this ginormous 20 bullet drum which is great as the only gun that, that can, can beat this capacity is the Mastodon and only by 4 bullets. So this is a, a lot more compact profile for its capacity albeit it's not really that small. It, um, so yeah, this game, gun is definitely mega by name and mega by nature being around the size of a rapid strike if you have one of those. There's also a lot of warning things and a thing like saying look out for with an oversized hunk of plastic and the deploy but mega so no thanks. So that's it for the box. Included in the box is the 20 nerf bullets, the drum unattached, the megalodon itself and the instructions. To assemble the blaster, just connect the drum as shown. Okay, so for this Nerf gun or blaster, whatever you call it, it's pretty simple, so I'm going to go over this pretty quickly. But um, basically all there is is there's no in-strike rail, since this is a mega blaster and not a lot of mega blasters have a barrel thing attachment, so yeah. Um, there's also this crank. Pull that back and forward and then pull the trigger to fire. It also has an orange thing that spins. So when you go a little wacky kind of places, it doesn't feel too weird on your hands. And um, on my coop, um, I've, I have a bit of a less kind of acquired grip. Um, I find things like the Delta Coop are pretty comfortable. So. I have no complaints, it's uncomfortable for me now, but that's because I'm holding it in one hand and all the weight is on my hand, but when I hold it with two hands, it's fine and it's clearly designed to be a hip fire gun. You don't like go like this and try and aim on the sides, that's just ridiculous. That's the reason I got this, I'm a bit of an SMG guy, so I like to, or at least in shooter games, I'm an Australian, I don't have a gun. Um, yeah, in shooter games, I like to go for the SMG because it's got, because I like full auto and I like going brrrr. That's why I got this gun, because it has single fire, but it also has one fire. And, sorry, I don't know if you could hear that, I'm, I'm not doing pre-recorded anymore because it's kind of weird if you see my mouth moving and it's not matching what I'm saying. Um, but... Yeah, that's all there is to this gun. There's the ratchet thing, some fake sights, the barrel which you put your bullets in, and it just attaches as I showed you earlier. You can also spin it um, to load it easier, and um, 
That's really all there is to this gun. I'm sorry if moving it and operating it made it impossible to hear what I was saying. It's really loud. But it's a lot of fun to fight. And um, in a second soon, I'll go to a different filming area and I'll grab my um, paper cups and shoot them over with this gun, which I think should be really fun because apparently these things whistle. Um, I shot them and they hit a wall so I didn't get to hear them whistle properly, but yeah, this gun is very loud and I suspect very fun, so I guess I'll see you on the other side. We also has this plastic thing up here, which I think is just a place to rest your hand if you want to hold it like this somewhat, and it honestly isn't that uncomfortable to hold it like this, surprisingly. Maybe I'm just strong. But yeah, obviously holding it like this is how it's intended to be held. I'm talking too much. I need to stop talking. See ya. Alright, we're at the testing place. Testing with um, just single fire. So I'm just going to go forward, backwards, and then shoot. So. I'm going to try and use the grip as advertised. Because it actually is. Not gonna lie. you like that I'm gonna now grab all the bullets and reset all the cups and I'll do slam fire. Okay guys I'm back and now we're gonna be trying some slam fire and then I'm gonna tell my final thoughts at the very end of the video so yeah part two of the firing demo so yeah this does have slam fire you just hold your finger on the trigger and then pull back and forth rapidly and then you can just lay off all your bullets at once, super fast, all 20 rounds, which is a lot. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Hopefully I don't shoot the camera. Okay, so that was my firing performance with the Megalodon. I had no malfunctions besides human error when I didn't fully pull the crank all the way back and forward and it worked as it should. Firing this Nerf gun feels a little crazy, it's just so big and powerful and ridiculous and it's just fun to precisely hit targets with a high capacity or just blow off your load for intimidation. I don't have a chronograph, but I think Coop 772's Megalodon was a dud, or maybe the rest of my arsenal just don't hit as hard as this did definitely hit hard and fast, and just seeing it perform was very impressive. I also didn't hear Coop mention how his was, as, was loud, as mine was pretty loud to mechanically operate with the drum rotations and cocking the gun and firing it. It just gave the emotional feedback of a machine gun, and it felt very powerful. So overall, I'd absolutely re recommend this to anyone thinking of buying it or the Mastodon. 
as I would say you should get this instead as it only has four less rounds and you don't have to worry about batteries and you can be stealthy on your first shot before you try and reload or rotate the drum. And for me this is my second favourite nerf gun ever, right behind the rapid strike as I personally prefer it over guns like the Strife and it's just good to have a springer as you know it's going to last long, unlike the flywheelers which may stop working due to corrosion from a battery leak, though my rapid strike deal still does work. Anyway, that was it for this video guys, please subscribe if you want to see more toy reviews like this. I may not have too many nerf reviews unless one sticks out to me like this one, but I'll definitely keep making Lego content. So if you don't know about that, check out my content and watch a few videos and please write something in the comments. I'd really like to know what you think. No one says anything in the comments, just like, say anything, please. Anyway, thanks for watching, bye. Yeah.